Sometimes in a TV production, some things don't make the final cut or edit. The following is an assortment of unsettling EVPs, a picture of a spirit allegedly looking through the window, and a prayer for some of the spirits on one of the episodes. These all didn't make that final cut. Here they are. What do you want? What do you want? Yes or no, are there any babies buried where we're standing? Yes or no, are there any babies buried where we're standing? Do you like to choke, Kim? Do you like to choke, Kim? Who is it you like to choke here in bed? Do you want us to leave? Who is it you like to choke here in bed? Do you want us to leave? On the episode of Dead and Breakfast on Ghost Loop, one of the craziest experiences I had while filming this show was this insane disembodied voice that came out of nowhere in midair. It didn't make the cut, but right before this took place, Eric and I were in the basement, and I religiously provoked this thing to manifest. And minutes afterwards is when that disembodied voice took place. And in this EVP, I asked after we heard that disembodied voice, which is on the episode, did I force it out to do so from doing that? And it said this. Did we force it to manifest with that noise, with religious provocation? Anna, when this is a boarding house, were you one of the undesirables? Did they mistreat people? Anna, when this is a boarding house, were you one of the undesirables? Did they mistreat people? Anna, all this time, you've been trying to get people's attention by showing yourself to them? Anna, did they mistreat you? Anna, did they mistreat you? You said this all looks similar to what it looked like for you? You said this all looks similar to what it looked like for you? Anna, are you the lady in white that so many people have witnessed? Are you mad that we're ch that we're asking you where the gold is buried?
Are you angry that they murdered you that night in the tavern? Are you angry that they murdered you that night in the tavern? Do you want Lee to find you? Do you want Lee to find you? Is that why you bring Lee to the stairs here? Because you want to bring her to that moment that you lost your life that night? What happened to the innkeepers, the man who was hung, and the little boy? What happened to the innkeepers, the man who was hung, and the little boy? In this next piece of evidence, I was in Kendall and her husband's main bedroom in their home in Washington on our episode of Secret Slaughter. I was taking a couple of pictures in this bedroom and one of the pictures stood out to me. It seemed to be a spirit peeking through the window into this bedroom. Now us as investigators to try and debunk this, we have to take pictures in succession to see if it appears in one picture and not in the other. And in this case, the second picture that I had taken right after this face appears, it does not appear again. Ultimately, you be the judge. Americans kill your family. Did they kill your children? If we show respect to the Native Americans and then try and help you, will that solve all of the issues? What's going on here for this family? If we show respect to the Native Americans and then try and help you, will that solve all of the issues? What's going on here for this family? Did the Native Americans kill your family? Did they kill your children? Why are you ripping Why are you ripping up paper, sir? This next piece of audio is me saying a prayer for the spirits on the property of the episode of Secret Slaughter of our show Ghost Loop. Now many people have asked me why I didn't say a prayer on this episode. Whether it be on camera or not, of course I would absolutely say a prayer for spirits if they were asking for help. These are the responses after I prayed for Joseph, the Native Americans, or the settlers and their families that may have been murdered on this property. Here they are. Other souls are here on this property. You're gonna ask me to pray, so I promise you I'm gonna pray to you right now. I'm gonna give you the respect, I promise you I will pray. Whatever you went through when you were alive, deaths, murder, children being murdered, please listen to me right now. Pray. Joseph, children, Native Americans, anyone willing to listen to me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, may will be thy name, and in heaven. 
give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not to temptation but deliver us all from evil amen Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst the blessed fruit of Jesus Holy Mary Mother of God pray for us sinners now to God our death amen I ask you Archangel Michael to bring forth the white light of the Holy Ghost and let any of the souls here willing to accept God's unconditional love and forgiveness to go towards the light and bring the love into the light to give the extra insight of the toes to do so. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Give me confirmation that you're finding peace. I saw a white horse. Cured. Cured. Be accountable for what happened to you in a human. You can find peace. Good heart. That's right. I'm showing you respect that you deserve. You all come from the same place, the same like brothers and sisters. Now be with your loved ones, be with your wife, Joseph, if that's you. I will go. Good. Any of you, this goes for any of you. God bless all of you. I want to show you that respect because you asked me to pray so many times. Your loved ones in the light and deserve to find peace. God forgives us. Oh my God. Yes, He does. He forgives all of us. We are His children. God bless you. Look up. Look up. The beautiful light is awaiting for you. God bless all of you. Thank you for listening to me. Are you the one that violates Wendy in this bedroom? Are you the one that violates Wendy in this bedroom? Where is this evil spirit or spirits hiding right now? This last piece of evidence I wanted to show everyone is the full, unedited, demonic message I received on my phone the morning of the day we performed the ritual of exorcism with the case in Utah. These voices were beyond unsettling and all having to do with this case truly to be demonic. Here it is. I hope you enjoyed all of this unreleased evidence of the one season of Ghost Loop. Thank you for watching.